Hey, you got the RV engineer here today. We thought we'd show off our green design 311 BHS from the inside. Talk a little bit about why we decided to upgrade from a grain design uh, travel trailer. We had previously had a 21 BHS. Again, this is now the 2020 and a half 311 BHS. And it's a bunkhouse style. We are a family of five, so of course we need a little bit more space. And I'm not going to show you every single feature in here, but I'll hit on some of the changes between the 2019s and 2020s versus the 2020 and a half. So the kitchen, I think, is what it's going to sell us for a lot of people. You know, solid surface here, nice deep sink, you know, that's able to easily be used. Uh, obviously, the 2020 versus 2020 and a half, you'll see a difference in color pattern and poles on everything. Like these type of poles slightly different, the cabinets slightly lightened up, backsplash lightened up. Uh, within here, you got all kinds of storage. You got USB power in here, you got electrical outlets in here. Uh, what really helped sell us as a family of five that likes to go on week long or more trips is this fridge. You know, this fridge is a huge, you know, nearly residential size fridge. The freezer units are independent of each other, so that you're not opening this up and then just completely letting everything out of one, you know, you open this up, you're only letting this side out versus this side. Um, so some of the main things are when you're going out with a, on a family for a long trip, you might think the fridge is enough size, but if you're prepping a lot of your food and kind of making it so you have some quick meals that are easy to go when you arrive on that setup day or on the leave day, you start to lose fridge space very quickly. So we loved the larger size fridge, but I also like that this fridge is a both an AC and a propane fridge, and that was key to me. Some people want the true residential fridges in their campers, but that means that you're complete, you cannot dry camp. Your fridge will not work. Whereas this one can still run off of the propane. We can dry camp, we can be at a nice fall or spring spot, not necessarily be connected up to power and still have our fridge running for our family. Hey look, somebody left me a beverage. <sighs> So moving on, uh, one of the other things we also like, we have a gas cooktop in our house. This ga gas cooktop is also nice, a three burner. This can actually fit, you know, real size cookware. I can put a very large, you know, saucepan on here and actually, you know, cook up dinner for everyone. The microwave is a standard microwave and also a convection microwave. It is massive. Um, so far we haven't used a convection feature, so I can't really talk a whole lot about that because our own house that we have doesn't actually have a convection microwave, so that's a feature that we'll have to get into. Um, our previous grand design, the 21 bunkhouse, the Imagine style, it had a, an oven too, but it was a smaller oven, whereas this can actually fit a standard, you know, cookie sheet in it, or, you know, so you can cook a normal full-size frozen pizza if you're just being lazy one night, that sort of thing. Um, and then, you know, the pantry is what's also going to sell. There's some stuff that we, you know, leave in here between trips because it's, you know, dry and sealed and everything. But it's got the auto light. I actually had to add lights to uh, our other one because it was hard to see into the pantry. This makes it a whole lot easier. Um, I have lined the shelves with a little bit of paint, you know, plastic there to try and keep it from getting uh, too nasty as, like, you know, inevitably the different oils and stuff spills. Try and keep it a little cleaner. They also give you lots of storage here, you know, between the different drawers here. And then also, you know, all along here, along the whole kind of like hutch or curio thing, you know, you can see you got a few different drawers for your silverware. They all latch in very nicely, very deep up here. You know, like that's a huge thing of plates back there that fits in. And this is a nice touch with the glass where we can show off our uh, awesome uh, cookware set here for coffee. You know, our... Uh, free thanks for spending an extra day in Hawaii mug that they gave us when a uh, flight couldn't take off and we were stuck at the airport for eight plus hours. We always like to think about that. Inside of here, you know, you also got your plates, that sort of thing. And then you'll notice on this side, it's got this little panel. And the reason is that's actually where your control center is. So some things that actually did change on this one besides the color is this right here tank heaters and so we're actually about to do some cold weather camping here and so i will be using this feature it'll be below it'll be about 25 degrees fahrenheit at night so i will have my tank heaters on i do not believe that that was on the uh, previous model so that's one of the more important change points in terms of functionality it is a four slide unit um you know this kitchen fridge area slides out 
this living room area slides out as well. The kids' bunk room slides out, and then the closet in our bedroom slides out. Again, you'll see the difference between a 2020 and a 2020 half is this color pattern. These used to be a lot darker brown. Now they're kind of the lighter pebble color. Uh, for some reason, they were really interested in showing us that these backs were reversible here. I guess that was some feedback that they had received or something. I will say that for messier kids, having a uh, kind of, you know, leather-ish, but definitely like a vinyl surface that wipes up real easy is maybe more ideal than the uh, fabric surface, which, you know, if you had SpaghettiO or Cheeto hands, that would uh, be instantly stained right there. The um, couch area right here is pretty nice. It is a recliner. Oh, it does kick out, and you can even recline back. Uh, for the colder climates, it does have heat as well. There's a massage feature. Uh, honestly, I wish there was a way to keep the heat active and completely disable the massage easily because it drives me crazy when the kids turn that on. But the heat feature is quite nice. And then it's got some under lighting like everything does. We do have an electric fireplace right here. We have used this. Uh, I'm not going to flip it on because I'm not connected to full 50 amp right now. I'm just connected up to my house to be able to cool down my fridge before a trip. But it will put out a fair amount of heat. Uh, just blowing out of there and then like kind of the standard TVs that come with everything honestly we barely use that uh, it does have a Furion system with the DVD in it and then you know power speakers inside and outside uh, one of the first things that I upgraded because I'm a bit of a audio nerd is I could not stand the paper speakers that were in here before they were just awful sounding so I just put in a less expensive pair of Polks but very easy to upgrade so next we'll move over here into the bedroom. You're cutting that off, right? Stop here so I can yell at the kids. So we had to edit in real quick here because I completely forgot to point out the Edison bulbs. My wife pointed out to me that I was neglecting a clear uh, style feature on here. Uh, they do actually give you one really good fan in here too. This is one of those fantastic fans. It's got the rain sensor on it and you control the speed. It's really nice, but unfortunately they only give it to you in the kitchen. They do not give it to you in the bedrooms or the other bathrooms. One other difference in the 2020 and a half is that they switch back to these uh, Coleman Max, which are actually a fair amount quieter than the uh, Dometics that were in there. So we had a Dometic in our Imagine. Um, and some people say, oh, I like the white noise. It helps me sleep well. Um, these still put out enough white noise, but it's not so loud um, so we're pretty pleased with them so far so right here you've got your max air uh, fantastic fan control right here where you know it can open fan on fan off vent open vent closed and then your main this is where you're going to control that ac unit in the uh, living room area i've currently got it off because again we're just hooked up right now to our house um, but this is also how you control your heater so as you press this bar here and cycle through it'll go from off fan low high cool and then eventually you'd get the heat right there and you could set what your heat point is. I don't have my propane tanks turned on, so I'm not going to let the heat kick on right now. One thing that does not come from Grand Design is the uh, nice picture right here from America's Favorite Family. We needed to put a little bit of style inside of here. So we move into the bedroom. Nice size to it. This is a queen bed right here. It is pretty comfortable straight from the factory. You got lots of storage over here. And then underneath the bed, too, they give you a lot of storage. You can see that we have uh, two of those uh, zero-gravity chairs stored under there, no problem. I hate wrestling with these things in the basement, so it's a lot easier to store them inside of here. As you come in, they, these are actually really deep. You can see in here, I mean, it swallows almost all of my arm. It does, you know, slope with the uh, head of the uh, camper. And then you got some little under storage down here too for some smaller things. I've got a fan down in there for creating some white noise at night. The drawers are nice and deep. You know, you can actually have a nice his and hers. And then the closet side, you can see there's a ton of storage space inside of here. We've got real hangers inside of here. So you can actually hang up a shirt or a pair of pants, fold it over. And then you get another drawer down here. So you can enter the bathroom through either the door on the side or we just parked this thing so I still have the strap down but it actually does have the barn door here. 
to allow you to close this off or access the bathroom. And for us, that's important because we don't always want to go out that way and throw a bunch of light into the living room and potentially wake our kids up. So this allows us to kind of sneak into the bathroom at night. It's got the big radius shower. Um, you know, nice skylight up above there. Um, so far, you know, it's fine enough, you know, it's easy to take a shower in. Uh, in the uh, bathroom area, again, you get a little storage cabinet right there for some of your different chemicals, and you got storage down here for plunger and, you know, where we keep some of our soap and stuff. Um, toilet's pretty much the standard toilet that Grand Design is using everywhere. You can see I've got the pink stuff in there from where I had winterized this. But uh, in general, you know, it's a easy, functional bathroom, but the real reason that we got this camper for our family was the fact that there's another half bathroom in the back. So our kids do not have to come up to this bathroom at night. And they also, that means that they're on two different black systems. And this might be way too much information, but that allows us to make one of those systems a black tank system and a different system a yellow tank system, which makes it a whole lot easier for me to clean. So one other feature on this one is they have another Coleman Mac unit here in the back. So the bedroom has its own separate AC. Some of the early 311 BHSs I think were only prepped for AC up here. They didn't give them to you. I don't know the exact year. I think maybe 18 or 19 they started including these factory. And like I said, they've changed over to a Coleman Mac. So again, you've got a separate controller right here to be able to control that AC temperature. Uh, it is nice, you know, when it's really hot out, this can definitely supplement the other AC system and get this thing cooled down real quick. One other feature that's new on these is they actually put in these blackout blinds right here. And you might think that's a really small difference, but having this style that just pulls right down and then give it a little tug and it goes all the way right back up. It's really easy, really convenient, and honestly, they do a great job of blacking out all the light so that if you don't want your kids... If you've been up late the night before and you don't want your kids to wake up at the crack of dawn, you can use these right here. And like I say, it, they close up real easy. They work a lot better than just like they're kind of the friction stay in place kind that were used before. So now we're back in the kids' bedroom area. And this is where a lot of the changes happen. And again, one of the main reasons that we went with this is for all the parents out there, the kids' bedroom completely shuts off from the rest of the camper which is uh, very nice. There's a big difference between having a door separating you from the kids and having just a small curtain. So as we step on in here, you can start to see some of the changes. Some of the earliest versions of this um, camper, there used to be like a little ladder that came out of here. Um, but instead what they've done is taken advantage of some of the storage here where the kids can kind of put like a little shoe caddy and some of their different toys. And then these are metal reinforced so that it's a lot easier. And this can like hold my weight going up onto this bed here. This has the little triangle cut out on it, but it still is a, you know, more of a, a full versus a twin. So, you know, this kid has a little more room to kind of spread out, or even if they've got a friend. We've got three kids, so having a drawer for each of them is very nice. Again, a nice full-size drawer here. And then they also have a closet area where they can have their jackets and more shoes or toy overflow area. Um, so besides the color scheme being updated here, they added this gas strut, which I actually really like. It used to be that this was one of those like pin locks, you know, to keep this thing up and you'd have to slide it out and get it, you know, to go into place. Whereas this is now just a supported gas strut to be able to get the kid up into this bed area. And then this thing folds out. I'll take these away. It can fold out into a whole nother bed and then that piece flips down right there and our previous one to get our third bed on the uh, 21 BHS BHE I think not BHS I'm sure somebody will comment in the forums that I've been naming it slightly wrong there but the uh, other Imagine Grand Design bunkhouse you had to give up your eating table to get the third bed. And this eating table still converts, but then that would be a fourth bed. So with three kids, you know, once we're at the campsite, we don't really put the couch back together. We just leave it so that there's three beds made, three beds out, and each kid has a place to sleep. And then back here is the last really nice feature, as I was talking about. 
a small half bath for the kids. And then again, this is really nice that they've got their own little sink area to brush their teeth at night, their own bathroom. So when they need to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, you know, they don't have to come all the way up into our bathroom or wake everybody else up. So we really like this feature. Um, some others, it may not be as important, but if it's not as important, you probably don't have kids. You probably aren't even worried about the back bedroom or that sort of thing. So that's some of the main features of the 311 BHS. In a different video, I'll do the outside also. Um, you know, point off some of those. Those are kind of the most obvious changes is the um, color schemes, you know, as opposed to being a beige, it's, you know, gone to a white and it's gone to a different color scheme on like the lettering and different font and that sort of thing. Uh, if there's any specific questions you have, shoot me a comment, that sort of thing. I'll uh, see if I can answer it easily or not. Thanks for watching.